Alright. Next Maverick. Up to bat is Frost Walrus. Whom I confused a lot in X3 with Blizzard Buffalo. Got the two mixed up. I don't know why. One's a buffalo, one's a walrus. Are walruses... Oh, yeah. Uh, nice little Easter egg. Uh, there's Frost... There's Blizzard Buffalo right there. Well, at least in a nice sculpture. I don't know if they recreated... Remade him and then froze him just to punish him. But yeah, there are uh, two ways you can go. You can go up or you can go down. I'm going to show both, because I can't. Uh, the up... The upper path allows you to pretty much fill your health and your weapons. And it's a it's a good grinding spot for health. I believe isn't that chill penguin right there? Can't really tell. I, I don't think it is, but Oh wow. Target multiple? What? Huh, I never knew that about the aiming laser. You can target multiple enemies. Anyway, we're done with uh, the top section now, so let's go back. I'm backtracking in the next game. Genius! Okay, so you got your ice slopes, you got your... Okay, no, it's not Chill Penguin. Never mind. You got your ice physics, you got your whatever the hell these guys are. And you also got uh, snow platforms and ice. Like right here. Yeah, it's a heart tank. Huzzah! But yes, the ice, uh, the snow ice platforms, they can appear and disappear. But when they're appearing, be careful. Because when they're appearing, you can get killed by them. Now you got this section, which is just basic, basic platforming. It's real fun with the dash jump. Dead. Two birds with one stone. Anyway, jump, 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 baroo. Go up here? Oh, what is that? That's not an E-Tank. What is it? It is an EX tank. Basically, once you collect it and you start a game over again, uh, you start with four lives instead of, I believe, two. So yeah, it's pretty useful. There's a full refill there. Down here. Uh, is this a section? No, but it looks like something. Can't really tell. Oh well. Okay, this section. You got rising ice, uh, which break upon any contact with the ceiling. So yeah, and you want to go down, but be careful because there's a bottomless pit here. Once you see a like a gap to the right, go, because that's where the level progresses. I'm still dropping frames. What the hell? All right. Uh, sorry about that. Mini boss fight. He surrounds himself with ice, and he's weak to fire. He also creates uh, stalactites. tights. Yeah, they're, they're tights. Anyway, just shoot him with fire. It's ice. Ow. I always like the fire attack, because it just looks goofy, really. Dead. Oh no, there, there's the ice. There's the frozen chill penguin. Hmm. Okay. Section 2. But, we'll be right back real quick. Sorry about that. Having some frame rate issues. Uh, it was only 5 drop frames, so hopefully that shouldn't do too much. 5 drop frames in the span of like a couple of minutes and not like a couple of seconds. If it was a couple of seconds, then I'd probably be worried. Okay, but this section, uh, you got lots of ice, lots of metals, they're back, yay, I love metals, they're cute. It's just so tiny. Oh, what's that up there? Is that our second E tank? No, it is a W tank. Basically, a weapon tank. Have full weapon energy, it goes right into there. And because of uh, the helmet upgrade, uh, makes things a whole lot easier. In terms of weapons. Well, this section, um, you got these little ice robo birds that come in, 
and try to freeze the scenery and freeze the area. And if it does, it uh, the ceilings of things like this platform I'm hitting my head against would have ice, and the enemies would be frozen. Not letting it happen though. Well, I'm trying not to, because I I recall some of the spikes being able to hurt, like a punch or oh, they just hurt. Okay. Never mind me. Alright, but uh, now boss time. Got the R everywhere, so I can Im you can imagine that Frost Walrus was part of the Reptile Force. Warning. Okay, Frost Walrus. Uh, I have no idea what his strategy is. Uh, reason being, um, uh, I never give him a chance. So let's try it now. Oh, he just slides at you, okay. That's what happens whenever you shoot him. And so he'll slide at you, uh... Did quite a bit of damage. But his weakness is the, uh, fire attack, which I completely forgot the name of already. Well, like, uh... Like Web Spider. Once, once you get him to half health, he'll start doing this, where he creates a giant icicle and it slams against the ground and tries to hurt you, but not this time, Frost Walrus. Now he's dead. And stage clear. Yes! Alright, what do we get? We get the Frost Tower. That is uh, the Colonel's weakness. Besides fried chicken. Alright, welcome back everybody. Uh, sorry about that very abrupt uh, edit. But uh, I had to leave uh, because... Um, dog. Uh, when AWOL, but anyway. Uh, Jet Stingray, let's go. Most annoying level, my opinion. Let's get back into things. He destroyed the city and escaped to the sea. Alright, uh... So Jet Stingray's level is a ride bike stage. And you shoot with the shoot buttons, whatever you assigned it to. You can jump, you can dash, and all that. And you can avoid these obstacles. Getting both the heart and sub tank in this level is kind of a pain in the ass. Because there will be times, like there, where you can miss the heart tank, still move on, but you're going to want it because that's what you just do in these games. Because of how if you so, uh, so much as mess one thing up, yeah, I fucking do the whole thing over again. Now we're in part two, and there's a sub tank here. So, yeah. Uh, but now we're in a more visually pleasing area, and there's Jet Stingray right there. He can actually show up in the level, and you can get rid of him, like get him off your tail, or in this case, out of your way. Uh, and he appears twice, and you can do it twice, so... I... And we're back, and this time... Die. Go away. I don't need Jet Stingray on my ass in this level. Here's where the sub-tank is. Yeah. Whoa, not this time. Okay. Alright, yeah, you saw how kind of close that was. Uh, health refill right there, full health. So, thank God for that. And now, boss time. Jet Stingray. Uh, that was... That was something else. I hate this level. Pretty damn much. Well, going for the heart and sub-tank, really. Everything else is kind of cake. Alright, so Jet Stingray, he can fly... He can go between both parts of the level. Uh, both sides, really. And, um... He can shoot his mini uh, fish. Uh, there are two varieties, the blue and the red. The blue just 
he they go straight and then they go down and then they just go back and forth on this uh, ground area that I'm walking on. Just Stingray can also um, fly directly up uh, like he's doing there and then come directly down in the same kind of animation. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to how to kind of just deal with him. Alright, he may, he may not show off the redfish. Okay, so you kind of wall jump up here and he always... Oh, I didn't get him there. Alright, see how it is. But you can kind of keep him in this loop. Just kind of wall jump around here. Whenever he shows his face, use his weakness, the uh, ice, whatever, ice attack. I don't bother remembering these names, especially uh, between recording sessions. And now he's dead. So yeah, uh, he's not really... He himself is not that hard. Uh, but his stage can go fuck itself. Alright, and that's our second to last Maverick dead. We just have one more, but we got the Ground Hunter. Which, uh, you send a, like, a mini Stingray. Basically, his little minion. Uh, Alright, last Maverick. I think it's Slash Beast. I think that's his name. Yeah, this Slash Beast. I always forget this guy, like his name. He defends the military train to protect the supply of goods. What kind of goods? Are you talking about drugs? Or are you talking about food or water or necessities? Alright, uh, Slash Beast's stage is a train. Yeah, it's a train. And uh, it's got the med tools, it's got uh, turrets, it's got a bunch of things, really. And uh, every once in a while, uh, one of those grenade mooks will come and destroy the couplings and apparently blow up the rest of the train itself, so you'll want to air dash past it. These med tools aren't that tough anymore, they don't go into their shells, kind of makes me a little sad. But then I remember how they're un how annoying they are when they do go in their shells. They all they also look very commando, like m milit militaristic. I think that's a word. If not, then um, may as well use it as a word now. Pretty sure it's a word though. You got these turrets which fire big lasers like that. But it, it's none you can't handle. Not at all. Uh, what is this? Third time? Somehow it blows up the previous train. Oh, and now we got our mini boss. Uh, another train with spikes. Alright, just stand over here and deal with it that way. Two plasma shots and it's dead. Kind of weak, if you ask me. The other trains. You can't destroy them. The grenade guys have to destroy them, which... Wait. Whatever. I was going to get into something, but then I was like, no, it's video games. It's video games for fuck's sakes. Alright. We also got general army guys in ride armors. Of course. And we got these uh, different versions of the grenade guys, which they just shoot a gun. That's it. They don't fire grenades at all. Or throw grenades. Whatever the proper term is. Now we got our, our ride armor. And one thing I love about the ride armor is you can step on things. Goomba stomp, motherfucker. Now if I can demonstrate, uh, I didn't Goomba stomp him. Or is it a... No, you can't Goomba stomp. Uh, never mind. Huh. Okay, that's the next eight then. You can also destroy the trains, which I thought that's what you had to do to get the heart tank that I just collected. Uh, but no. Uh, it's just standing right there. And I guess, just... I don't know. But yeah, uh, describe what I said earlier. You can't go with some things, which makes me sad. That's in X8. 
Oh. Sorry. Well, this is the point of where you can't use the right armor anymore, so... And it was no big deal that it died on me there. If it, it fought valiantly. With pride and courage and whatever the colonel said. But how I died. I know I fell into the pit, but I remember something like stopping my jump or whatever. I don't know. My memory is absolute shit right now. And it's not early in the morning like uh, it was in X3. Or at least the last three uh, videos of X3. Last three episodes, parts, whatever. It's interchangeable for me. Alright, boss time. Slash Beast. Uh, he's a um, bit of a joke. He is a joke. Um, though he's pretty cool just catching up to the train like that. <laughs> I gotta admit. Alright, so his, his uh, tactics. He'll roar a bunch. He'll jump around. And then the second time, he'll uh, try and Goomba stomp you. He can slash. He can use that attack. Uh, I always refer to it as Wind Cutter. And he also has um, another attack, which I'll show because of this. He'll charge against the wall, and if you hit him with his weakness, that's all he'll do. I like to just jump over him and hover. Safer than. Because he can knock you down from the wall with that attack. Sometimes he'll do it like twice in a row. And uh, sometimes he can catch you with his mouth. He'll like try, I guess, bite you. And then I believe he like rams you against the wall or something. But he's dead now. And with that, that's all eight Mavericks. Woohoo! Alright, so let's see what we get. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I believe it's called a twin cutter. It's twin something. Twin slasher. Alright. So yeah, basically that uh, attack he did. I keep forgetting. I don't know what I do in these parts. Basically the twin slasher is what he uses. Uh, Oh, what's going on? The rough force has begun assembling. Uh, a spaceport. To space! Alright, now we could go to the spaceport, or we could do some cleanup. Uh, let's see, we only have, uh, seven heart tanks, I believe, and we're still missing an armor upgrade, so let's pay a visit to Web Spider. Alright, first heart tank. Well, first, backtracking collectible, a heart tank. Alright, we're back. Alright, this section here, jump, get out of the right armor, right here. You need the twin, the twin slash. That's not the twin slash. Do you need the twin slash, right? Or do you need to charge it? Yeah, charge it. Charge it, twin slash, light capsule, body upgrade, huzzah. Body module absorbs damage. Accumulate. Ooh, we can do the Nova Strike. So yeah, we can only use it once before. It's basically like the Giga attack. So yeah, now we got everything. Show it off. Booyah. It is the ultimate attack of this game. Inch.